10 Robots That Are Learning New Skills Thanks to sci-fi movies, we all know what to expect when advanced AI is finally here. The AI won't take long to realize that robots are vastly superior to the fragile meat sacks called humans. At that point, our days will be numbered. Sci-fi movies are a warning about the dangers of human hubris, but it's very clear that we don't heed this warning. This is why we continue to develop new robots and give them an increasingly terrifying arsenal of tricks. Let's see what robots can do now. Number 10. Samurai Robot Arm is precise enough to split a peapod in half. Meet Motoman MH24, an industrial robot arm built by the Yaskawa Electric Corporation. This robot may be just a single limb, but what it lacks in body parts, it makes up for in chilling precision when handling a katana. Yaskawa's misguided attempt to promote its products involved teaching the MH24 robot arm the art of samurai swordsmanship. They enlisted the help of Izao Machi, a renowned sword expert, who wore a motion capture suit to record his movements for the robot. Yaskawa staff even had to wear protective gear during the project to avoid accidents. In a competition against Machi, the MH24 effortlessly sliced various objects, including fruit, tatami mats, and even a horizontally placed pea pod. The robot proved just as effective as Machi, with the added advantage of never tiring. While it took months to teach the robot this skill, once learned, robots never forget. Number 9. Cheetah now leaps over hurdles. You might already be familiar with the cheetah robot from Boston Dynamics, now Google, a quadrupedal monster capable of running as fast as 45 kilometers per hour, 28 miles per hour. What you might not know is that it recently got a few sweet, or more appropriately, frightening updates. Cheetah can now hop over obstacles. Using a laser-based sensor to see the hurdles, Cheetah calculates the most optimal way to jump over them. After the jump, the robot lands on its feet and continues on its way. This is a pretty incredible feat for a machine that weighs 32 kilograms or 70 pounds. You can no longer hope to escape from the four-legged terror beast by simply hurling stuff in its path. Cheetah can easily scale objects as high as 46 centimeters. 18 in. As the next step, Google scientists are planning to test the cheetah out in the open to see how it performs on soft, uneven terrain, giving it the perfect opportunity to escape into the wild. Number 8. Insect robots can jump on water. What do you get when a team of biologists, bio-robotics experts, and mechanical engineers get together to study the behavior of water striders? A robot that can perfectly mimic that behavior, evidently. Reuters has already compared this new robot to the sinister spider bots from Minority Report. A team from Seoul National University, along with a participant from Harvard, studied how water striders jump on water without breaking the surface tension. They discovered that the insects gradually accelerate to prevent the water from breaking. Inspired by by this, researchers created a two-centimeter-long insect robot with thin wire legs covered in water-repellent material. Weighing only 68 milligrams, the robot can jump over 14 centimeters into the air from both hard surfaces and water. The current prototype can only jump once and doesn't land on its feet, but an upgraded version is planned with swimming ability and more complex tasks, including potential military surveillance applications, according to Jay Song Ko, one of the study's co-leads. Number 7. Six-Legged Insect Bot Adapts to Its Environment This insect-looking guy is called Hector, which sounds far more innocent than its full name. Hexapod Cognitive Autonomously Operating Robot. It's made by researchers at Bielefeld University in Germany and is inspired by the motion of stick insects. Hector, the six-limbed robot, possesses free gait, allowing each limb to move independently and adapt to different surfaces. With three passive elastic joints per leg, Hector can change course mid-step and overcome unpredictable obstacles. Its limbs are equipped with sensors, enabling reactive responses and even learning from experience. Despite its unassuming appearance, Hector's carbon fiber reinforced plastic body combines lightness with durability, enabling it to effortlessly carry heavy loads. An upcoming enhancement includes a specialized camera to provide insect-like vision, along with two feelers for tactile object perception. The prospect of a robust insectoid robot navigating rough terrain, coupled with sensory capabilities, raises concerns about its potential implications. Number 6. Spot always keeps its balance spot. The agile sibling of Big Dog possesses impressive abilities despite being smaller and lighter. It effortlessly climbs steps and ascends steep slopes at a jogging pace, weighing a substantial 70 kilograms, 160 pounds. Spot's remarkable self-balancing mechanism, an upgrade from Big Dog, makes it nearly impossible to knock off balance. Google researchers have even attempted to kick Spot to the ground in their tests, with little success. 
In a captivating moment from a video, two spot robots synchronize their movements while ascending a hill, achieved through spot's natural balance correcting system rather than intentional programming. This uncanny collective behavior adds to spot's mystique and capabilities, leaving us curious about its potential long-term memory and future advancements. Number 5. Robotic cockroach can squeeze through tight spaces. Robots and cockroaches are two things best left uncombined. But that didn't stop this research project, funded by the U.S. Army Research Laboratory. So now we have a robotic cockroach that can squeeze through obstacles, just like his biological counterpart. And it's as disturbing as you might imagine. While most robots depend on sensors and advanced programming, the six-legged cockroach bot relies on its physical shape to accomplish the task of going through obstacles and looking creepy in the process. The research team tested three different shapes for the robot's shell, rectangular, oval cone, and flat oval. Their findings are not particularly surprising. The less rounded the shape, the more difficult it is for the bot to squeeze through obstacles. This is how they've arrived at the final cockroach form. Not content to simply leave this abomination as is, the team is already thinking of future robots that can morph their shape on demand to better suit the type of obstacle they're facing. Number 4. Gecko Robot Climbs Walls Carrying 100 times its weight, engineers at Stanford University have developed miniature robots inspired by geckos that can climb vertical surfaces while carrying weights 100 times their own. These tiny bots employ sticky feet with rubber spikes that bend to grip the wall and straighten to detach. By moving deliberately, one foot gripping tightly while the other progresses, a mere 9 gram .3 ounces robot can drag up to 1 kilogram 2 pounds behind it. The concept is also also being applied to ground bots like Tug, weighing just 12 grams .4 ounces, yet capable of pulling loads 2,000 times heavier. The team envisions using this adhesive feet method on larger, more powerful robots in the future, enabling astonishing capabilities. Number 3. Self-Healing Robot Shrugs Off Damage to Limbs Robots are typically limited in their ability to adapt and improvise. They are designed for specific tasks in controlled environments, and even minor damage can render them useless. However, a team of researchers led by Jean-Baptiste Moret at Pierre and Marie Curie University has developed a trial and error program to teach robots to think creatively in response to damage, similar to animals adjusting their behavior to avoid putting pressure on an injured limb. The program enables the robot to explore different different ways of walking and compensating for damage, allowing it to continue functioning even with significant injuries. This remarkable adaptability has been demonstrated in both a six-legged robot and a robotic arm, raising awe and perhaps some unsettling feelings. Number 2. Flying Bat Robot Can Also Walk All you really should know about this robot is that it's based on vampire bats. If that fact alone isn't enough to give you nightmares, here's more. It's a flying robot that also walks, and its preferred method of landing is a controlled crash. The bat bot is named Daler, after its inventor Ludovic Daler, and is short for Deployable Airland Exploration Robot. Daler has a foldable skeleton, so it can deploy and retract its wings on demand. In the air, its rotating wings help it control altitude. On the ground, they fold so that Daler can better navigate through tight spaces. When airborne, Daler can reach speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour, 45 miles per hour. This drops dramatically to only 6 centimeters per second, 2 inch s, once the Robobat hits the ground, so it's really more of a slow crawl. But this ability gives Daler the chance to land, negotiate an obstacle, reorient itself, and take off again. As of today, Daler usually needs a bit of a push to take off. Future versions, however, will do this on their own. Future development of the Daler will include the possibility to hover and to take off autonomously from the ground in order to allow the robot to return to the air and come back to base after the mission. Number 1. Humanoid Hubo is disturbingly versatile. All robots discussed so far are, for the most part, one-trick ponies. They're built with a limited set of skills that are best suited for their specific jobs. Wouldn't it be incredible if a robot could do many diverse things equally well? Let us introduce Hubo. Hubo is a bipedal robot made by South Korean team Kaist to compete in DARPA's 2015 Robotics Challenge in Pomona, California. The challenge was all about seeing how robots performed across a wide range of tasks, mostly autonomously. They need needed to drive and get out of a car, open doors, clear obstacles, turn handles, and even walk up a flight of stairs. A notoriously difficult feat for bipedal robots. Hubo faced 22 other robots and went on to win the challenge. It completed the entire course in 44 minutes and 28 seconds, netting its human makers a $2 million prize in the process. Hubo excelled mainly due to its transformer ability. It walks on two legs but has wheels built into its knees that let it quickly switch to driving when terrain is suitable, which is a 
more stable and speedy way to get around. Hubo also has a rotating torso that helps the robot face different directions without turning its whole body. I am sure you are going to love to watch our video about realistic robots that will freak you out on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to us and never miss our amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.